You are watching Playback Magazine. All right, and it's your girl Sandy Anine, and I'm here for Playback Magazine. And today I have Sierra Leone's very own Shady Baby. How are you, darling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm all right. And thanks for having me. All right. So, how are you enjoying Toronto? What can I say? Everything is good. The place is nice. Good people. Beautiful people like you, Maito, Sampi, and the other guys. You know, beautiful ladies and good food too. The old, the old sad part of the old thing is that I don't drink, so I don't know if there's good drinks or so. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. Um, for all you guys that are watching, Shady Baby had a show in Toronto last night. I must say, which was off the chain. I didn't know you could dance like that. Oh yeah, I can dance, man. Trust me. That was just a tip of a nice back. Trust me. Again? What do you have to say for the Sierra Leone community in Toronto? Well, um. As for now, I would just say thanks to some of the people who came, who came out yesterday night. And uh, thanks for the support. And I hope we do this again one more time. Because I'm always going to call credit to come give my people whatever I'm, I'm, I've been doing in the studio, you know. And uh, for your information, maybe let's see the next door. You're not going to see just me. But it's like, we, I'm going. let's say I'm coming in a group style. And me and a guy called Evan J. Yes, Evan J, the guy, people normally call him Mr. Pastor Dai. Mm -hmm. So we're working on an album, and very soon the album will be out for the people to feel it. All right, that's so good to know. Out, we come in. <laughs> All right, so I have one question. Um, I remember, I think, probably in November and sometime, I seen that you made a comment on Facebook in terms of the music industry and the support of Africans and community wise and and just just the whole diaspora as a whole what prompted you to make that comment about how we're lacking the support in our African community when it comes to arts and music well I wouldn't say Africa as a whole but you know talking of the Liberian Sierra Leone Ghana it's like the, the musicians are not getting the, the, the kind of support we're looking out for, yeah? Because at the end of the day, um, they said charity starts, it begins at home. I believe if your people can be able to sell you out to the public, nobody is going to buy whatever you're trying to sell. So we, we do need their support financially, morally, whatever way they can be able to support us we need that so at the end of the day we can be able to put the music where it's supposed to be like people used to say let's put our music to the map you can put your music to the map without the support you need and uh, these days music is money so if you want to make your music be there there should be money as a backbone support so all I'm saying calling on all Africans out there Liberians you know I give kudos to Nigerians, they're trying the level best, you know. But let's all copy the same thing. Let's try to make African music be there because, trust me, even the white people, they dance to our music these days. Mm -hmm. yeah. They like it. So let's try to do the best we can to make sure African music can be heard worldwide and most people, I believe, would like to dance to it too. All right. Um, also, what got you started in music? What was what gave you the drive, the passion to say, you know what, today I'm going to make music for people to dance or people to feel? What got you into music? Well, at first I started my own music thing in a gospel way. That that was in the church. You start singing in the church, and someday somebody was like, "Man, have you ever tried to do something worldly?" And I'm like, well, I don't think I have that kind of support for now to do a world of music, but someday I'm going to try. And I did try. People like it. Mm -hmm. And I take it from there. So I can say I was born into music. 
because all of my, and let's say my relative around me, most of them, they can do music, they do music. And uh, so I was inspired by most of them and most of the other big Sierra Leonean artists, you know? So as for me, music is me. I can say, uh, people used to say music and me, maybe if you forget to call me Shady Baby, you can call me music and me. Oh, wow. That's, that's good. So music and me. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like saying I have music in me, trust me. Any day, any time I can sing. I can make a I can make a music out of anything, out of any situation around me, yeah? So I'm born to do this, so I'm gonna be doing it. Right. Yeah. Um also I guess my last question for you is um for youth or anyone in the music, in the art scene that's trying to come up right now, what is your message or your advice to them for them to make it in this industry, whether it be Sierra Leone or whether it be Nigeria, Ghana, wherever. What is your advice to them? Well, perseverance is one thing. I guess it should be your friend. Be persevered and uh, forget about the noise of the market. You know, most people, negative people, are trying to pull you down. Just make sure you. You, you, you don't lose your focus, believe in the things you do. And trust me, at the end of the day, there's something, there's something behind the points. There's something behind what you're thinking. There's somebody out there looking at you, watching at you. There's somebody out there who thinks there's something in you. Just believe in yourself and other people will follow the same thing. So be persevered and don't let the negative people pull you down. Music is life. No take an army and you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. No take an army and you. I'm a baby, the above army like here. You want to take an army and you. No take an army and you. You are watching Playback Magazine.